should just go join them in the van and go back to the house. There's a van? <laughs> oh, no, things are showing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Deandra this trash in a long time. <laughs> I feel like she's trying to have sex with me. <laughs> No, it's just like, it was really heavy yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Leanne makes excuses for every situation to honestly manipulate people. Like, I feel like this group has clicked sometimes. I yeah, think the click is here, Cameron. I own my situation. Don't oh, say you. Like, don't say you. That was trash. That Go was suck a dick. She called me trash. Like, I didn't, like, tear down her character. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I mean, it's not the first time. It's the second time. And she did apologize. But to me, it's like, okay, is there a reason why you're saying that? Like, it was so spontaneous to the point where I'm like, okay, is that what you really think of me? I don't even know how I got involved in the fight over this damn roommate situation. I can't believe I threw a napkin in Brandy's face. I've never done <laughs> anything like that before. Ask her. She needs to tell you why. Give me an answer. Last good thing we can do tonight is go to bed. Deandra, what can I do to help you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you to your room and make sure you don't die. <laughs> oh my God, you are so hot. You are so hot and sexy. Come on, let's go. Am I, am I turning you on? <laughs> yes, I'm like, I, I was ready to play spin the bottle with you, girl. I'm not gonna lie. Cameron, come here. Okay. Right see, here. see you with us. I will sit right here, but I'm so tired. Can I ask her for you? Yeah. I don't understand why. This is the second time she says to me that white trash, mm -hmm. right? I never said white. I, just, I said trash. trash because but, but, I it, but you said someone... to me it's the second time, right? And that's something that has bothered you big time. I felt like your actions were being trash, not you. I was just saying the actions. The word trash triggers old memories because growing up, parents wouldn't allow my classmates to come to my home because I lived in a trailer. They would call us white trash, and I have dealt with people judging me all my life. I did not pull down your character and who you are as an individual. I, I wasn't trying to tear down your character. It, it hurts, and I think it just triggered, because it made me feel those feelings again, like I'm not good enough to be a part of the group. This is so stupid. And I didn't feel like I got an apology from you. I sat there and apologized, and I didn't think I got a reciprocation. And you're trying to play the victim right now? now I just want to understand why you choose to use that word. That was a trashy thing to do. OK, well, throwing a napkin in my face was trashy. I am mortified in my behavior, OK? But Cameron, do you I'm mortified? No, 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 no. 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 We have to go and catch up. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How are you? Good. How is everything going? I, I feel like I haven't spent time with you. I miss you. But I feel like a little off on this trip. I don't know why. I'm going to be honest. I feel like it's just, I'm not your roommate. Probably. I think that's part of it. Like, I feel like you're like a security linker for me. They got a lot to talk about. Mm. You know, they haven't been rooming together, so it's been really hard together. for them. Yeah. But that was my whole point. Is like, let's just kind of like mix it up to get to know more right, people. Better. Right. You know? It was really heavy yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Like with Leanne and her story. Most people who have been through what I've been through uh, commit suicide by 30. I've only tried three times. That to my head, and it like, you know what I'm saying? And then I start thinking about it, and then it's like, it's, it's up. But I do feel like Leanne makes excuses for every situation and use it to honestly manipulate people that, oh, the reason that I was negative is because of this. That there's no correlation that it becomes an excuse and for someone to feel sorry for her. No, I mean, just like the stuff that she says, like sometimes like I feel like you take it in and you start thinking about it and it's just like really depressing. You're so sensitive to people's feelings and you're so in tune. Like I'm trying to like, it's like hard because I'm trying to have fun and I want to drink. But then like, I don't know, I just have like, a hard time in my mood sometimes. Every 30 seconds somebody commits suicide and it's something you just don't talk about because you're having a bad day. I do feel triggered by it. It's very depressing. It's a sensitive topic for me. It makes me think about my own suicide attempt and depression, and I don't like that. It's just heavy. It's been a heavy trip. 
No, I'm sorry. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. I just, yeah, I just feel a little out of um, my element. But that's when you grow, right? You're beautiful, and I love you. I love you more. I miss you. Don't worry about it. I miss Thanks. you. Why do you try so hard to put on a happy face and not show people you're struggling? Um, well, because people don't like to be around people who don't make them feel good. Nobody would want to be my friend if I was honest about what I deal with, like, all the time. Like, I wouldn't have any friends. So. OK, I'm going to put my stuff down, and I'm going to run potty real quick. El baño? El baño? Oh, it's over there. We have a long way to go. All okay. right, you guys, I'm going to have to work really fast. Like, it's really bad. Are you having fun? Yeah. Hey, should we go back behind this truck? Is that trashy? We just need, we need a napkin, though. You got to drip dry. I need to go potty. The bathroom, miles away. I could barely walk two feet right now. I have so many margaritas in my body. OK, maybe we should stand around each other and one person at a time. I volunteer first. Wait, but that guy's right there. Hold on. Are you sure? I don't know. OK, Cameron, we support you. We support you. I think they're paying in the bushes. Cameron's still going. Cameron, you are like a little horse with your bladder. You know, the trick and the etiquette to pee peeing outside, you just don't talk about it. Just get the job done, move on, pretend nothing happened. OK? Do you, like, regret not rooming with Carrie? Because I thought that would be great for you. So when we got there, she was like, this is, this is my, my room. This is where I stay. This is my room. Leanne, wow. this is your room. This is my this room? Leanne's yeah. room? This is your room with um, Carrie. I understand where you got confused, but I think she was offended, honestly. Well, and she, she should was... have said that she was offended instead of, you're being totally negative. You're negative all the time. Whenever Leanne is confronted with her true feelings about something, she doesn't want to reveal those. She wants to reveal whatever version she feels appropriate to make herself look the best. Accountability is Leanne's problem. You don't know me. You don't know that I'm negative all the time. I think she got offended because you said you wanted to stay with Cam, even though because maybe there was a miscommunication. I didn't realize that she was offended by that. No, it was serious. I didn't know that.